Okay, so this video is what if you're a spiritual seeker and it feels like you're fighting for change and the change is not happening fast enough. Well, if I'm, you know, for myself is, um, sometimes you have to fight for change or do the right thing or do what you feel inspired to do. However, um, um, you, uh, you may have this feeling that things are not happening fast enough. And, you're, and it feels onerous to be continuously fighting. You might be bogged down by the continual thing and things not happening. Well, for me, apart from, if, that's, if you're taking actions and you, which you believe are the right thing, continue to take those inspired actions. But otherwise, you can definitely do spiritual work to dissolve the duality, of, um, to dissolve the resistance, to surrender the resistance, uh, to surrender the fight and to surrender the impatience of things not happening uh, or your dreams or, or the goals that you feel you need. So the ways to do that, of course, a simple one is what we do in this group is uh, like, uh, I surrender, dear God, my impatience uh, for my goals uh, and uh, I pray for forgiveness, transcendence and miracles with this. Uh, or or you could use any course lesson instead of my impatience or things not happening fast enough i could see peace so i pray for a miracle to see my impatience or change not happening fast enough differently or um there's so many course lessons you could could do this i'm not a victim of the world i see um but I, what i what i'm trying to do god did not create um the sense of time or impatience in me so it's not real um God has, God has not blocked me from abundance now, and so that is not real. Uh, whatever it is that you feel inspired or directed to do. Um, but for me, when I, when I feel there's this sense of resistance or fighting with the world or a sense of time dragging, you know, time dragging is because I'm tracking time or wanting something quickly. You know, when you let go of being impatient or enjoying yourself, time ceases to exist, and it's almost like... You're in the infinite holy now, holy instant. So um, that sense of fighting uh, is that you're wanting it. You're wanting it too much from the level of the ego. And, and in the wanting and the fighting and in the, on a spiritual level, if you feel a sense of fighting and a sense of time, a sense of impatience, they're blocking you up from higher levels of consciousness where miracles are more likely to happen faster. So you can disappear time, surrender the time, surrender the impatience, surrender the sense of fighting. Now, when there's a sense of fighting with the world or a sense of time, that's coming from the personal separated ego. Only the ego experiences time. Only the ego experiences um, fighting for something. So actually what, you know, let's take the prayer of St. Francis is to be a channel. So that, you know, like to be an instrument that's being orchestrated by the divine. If you're in that infinite peace and love now, then there is no sense of fight, even though the body can be used like a puppet of the divine and is being orchestrated and speaking and is taking divine actions in the world uh, that are being directed, if you like, from God, heart or spirit or the Holy, Holy Spirit. Uh, but, but that sense, it's only the ego that experiences fighting and strife and, and the sense of time. So, you know, I teach the observer tool for disappearing time and disappearing any form of resistance or even this, uh, this, uh, you know, a frustration that a goal that I want hasn't happened now. Um, just to share my experience recently, um, my father was selling his b, &B property and I, I did a lot of heavy praying for the solicitors and the buyers. Um, and there was a sense of time and fear. And I knew that I just needed to pray until that sense of fear of things going wrong and that sense of things dragging on keep praying until that all disappears and that, that I felt like I've had it over and I'm happy. And I, I prayed and uh, it sold uh, uh, this week and the buyers, you know, made no comments. They it all went smoothly uh, in the best possible way. And I knew I just had to get my ego out of the way and then that, that a miracle was, uh, was possible from the divine. So, um, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to stop there.